What is the Bible all about? What is the overarching theme of it? That's what I'm going to talk about today. Hi, I'm Ryan Hayden. I'm the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Mattoon, Illinois, and I'm on a mission to help everybody understand the Bible two or three minutes at a time. I make these videos every weekday morning, so be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon on YouTube so that you never miss one. The Bible contains 66 books that were written by over 35 people over thousands of years. And despite that, the Bible has a strong unifying theme because the Bible was inspired and directed by the Holy Spirit. Once you understand the theme of the Bible, a lot of stuff that doesn't make sense all of a sudden does make sense. For instance, there are books in the Old Testament all about the sacrifices and offerings of the Jewish tabernacle system. And you might wonder, what does that have to do with anything? And you'd be right to if you weren't looking through the lens of the theme of Scripture. So what is the theme of Scripture? Well, in the very last chapter of the very last book in the Bible, it tells us, Jesus says in Revelations 22, 13, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. In the Greek language the New Testament was originally written in, Alpha is like our letter A, and omega is like our letter Z. So Jesus is saying, I'm the A to the Z. I'm the beginning to the end. I'm the first to the last. In other words, Jesus is saying, it's all about me. So the theme of the Bible, the thing we need to understand if we want to properly understand the Bible, is that it is all about Jesus Christ. Specifically, the Bible is about what Jesus Christ did to make a way for us to be saved from God's wrath. Another name for Jesus that's used many times in the book of Revelation is the Lamb that was slain. And in Revelation 13:8, it refers to Jesus as the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. This tells us that it was always God's plan to have Jesus act as a sacrifice for our sins, to have Jesus die in our place like a lamb would die in the Old Testament. So once you understand that the death of Christ is the theme of the Bible, it's like a key that helps you understand everything. The whole Old Testament is pointing to and foreshadowing the death of Jesus. Genesis shows us how mankind was created and fell into sin and then shows us the start of the family God would use to bring us Christ. The law set up the impossible standard for righteousness that only Christ could live up to. The sacrifices all point to Christ, who would be our ultimate sacrifice. The books of history show us that even the best of kings come short and point us towards Christ, who will be the perfect king. The prophets show a people in exile longing for Christ to come and tell us more about what he's going to be like. So all the Old Testament is looking forward to Christ and foreshadowing Christ. Then the New Testament starts with the four Gospels, which give us four different viewpoints of Christ's earthly ministry and four different accounts of his death and resurrection. Then you have Acts, which tells us how Christ is still alive and working through his church. Then the rest of the New Testament looks back to the cross to explain what it means and how it applies to our life. So the focal point, the theme, the central unifying truth of all scripture is what Jesus Christ did on the cross. Until you understand that, nothing else really makes sense. Now, it's my goal through these videos to help you understand the Bible. But if you really want to understand the Bible, you need to get into a good Bible teaching church. A church that makes Christ the theme like the Bible makes Christ the theme. If you live in our area, we would love for you to visit Bible Baptist, where I preach and teach every Sunday. But wherever you live, please find a good church that teaches the Bible and try to attend there as often as possible.